So in my last video, I briefly mentioned that I've been uh, thinking about a new setup that would be more capable of handling uh, extended periods and extreme cold, whether that means to move on to something new or do a renovation on this fan. Overall, I think it makes more sense to keep this van to a renovation. I've uh, taken very good care of it mechanically. Every time it needs something, it gets it. Uh, aesthetically, I've kind of slacked on that, obviously, but I've definitely put my money where it counts. And this van has just proven itself to be so versatile in uh, where I want to go. It's met, if not exceeded, all my expectations and where I want to go and do van life. Um, anything beyond what this van can do I feel like is into like extreme rock crawling and I'm more than happy to do that on my e-bike so yeah having the 4x4 the high clearance and this like form factor I, f I feel like it's uh, one of the best setups available for van life so it'd be really hard to let it go so if I was to do a rebuild on this van I just uh, been thinking how I would go about doing it uh, first of all I think I'd want an insulated wall across the back so I have like a sealed off uh, garage area for my bike and then another insulated wall behind the front seats with a door on it so then already like I've reduced the amount of area that I need to heat and I think that'll make a huge difference on its own and then uh, Beyond that, uh, just a matter of insulating uh, the walls and the ceiling. Uh, when I was building out this van, I made the choice to just like leave the walls bare and breathable. I think it's a legitimate way to like simply build a van is just leave things open and breathable. I definitely get frost down in there, but it also dries itself out on its own. So I've never had any problems uh, with mold. So it is a good way to do it at a compromise of not being able to handle uh, the cold as well but now i'm in a different situation where i want to handle the cold so i want to make sure that i do it right um yeah i mean it's just like considerations you have to make so if i was to try and insulate the ceiling in here i've been dreaming like how to actually do this correctly because i see people like they put insulation they put a vapor barrier then they put their tongue in groove and they they screw through it they put all these holes in their vapor barrier and i think you've completely compromised it at that point because moisture will make its way through the smallest of holes and it will not come out it's, it's stuck there forever unless you like completely tear it out so yeah, I'm going to show you how I'm thinking about doing it and uh, we'll get your opinion on this because, yeah, I am an amateur. I've never done this before and I want to make sure that it's done right if I actually do this. All right, so let me try to explain what I'm thinking. So this is uh, a cross section of the metal roof of my van. These are the ceiling supports that go across. So my first step uh, would be to glue in closed cell foam insulation. Uh, right up against the metal roof and so that it perfectly fills in the space between uh, the ceiling supports and then my next step is the vapor barrier I found this stuff called second skin that's like a one or two millimeter rubber adhesive mat and I would just like stick that straight across there so that everything is sealed in and then I don't know uh, how big this would be if I could like squeeze a two by two in there and uh, use construction adhesive in all these uh, these gaps and then I would put in the tongue and groove screwing right into the wood so I don't uh, compromise my vapor barrier it should be all sealed up airtight warm uh, whether I put my wiring like inside there or outside I'm not too sure I could always use like a, a conduit on the outside but I think that would be a really good way to do it a big part of the problem is just how small the living space is. It's just a matter of uh, tracking in a little bit of snow on my boots and a few minutes later all the windows will be fogged up and frosting over and also overnight from breathing uh, the inside of the windshield be frosted over by morning. Uh, this winter I experimented by keeping a front window cracked and also cracking the roof vent and running it all night long just to get some airflow and it definitely made a big difference in uh, keeping it drier in here overnight. Uh, the windshield usually be clear by morning but I'd also be throwing a lot of heat outside which isn't exactly a good thing. I was hoping the wood stove would have made a difference in uh, keeping it dry in here because it's always pulling in air and causing an air exchange but honestly uh, didn't make any difference at all. But uh, when I built out the van I did it all in parking lots. Uh, well basically being homeless living in an unbuilt van 
Uh, it was kind of more straightforward to do it that way because like I was slowly accumulating uh, the things I needed. Uh, whereas now I have everything, so it might make more sense to like try and rent a townhouse for a month or two because I'd have to pull everything out and like store it somewhere while uh, I do the renovation. And uh, a big part of the issue when I was uh, building it uh, and how long it took was uh, just because like I had to like drive around to get everything I needed. Like if I was hungry, I had to go here. If I needed to use the bathroom, I had to go there and I slept somewhere else. So I was always juggling around all these things. Whereas like if I'm parked in the driveway of a house, like everything I need is within like a minute walk away. So it should go a little faster that way. But this is all just dreams and I'm not sure when it'll actually happen. I mean, it's uh, March 15th right now today and uh, the mountaineering season in Canada is coming very fast. That's uh, number one priority for me. I don't want to be building a van uh, when uh, when it's time to go out and hike and summit some big mountains. So we'll see. And uh, yeah, just throwing around some ideas here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know uh, what you guys think about all this stuff. And I'll see you in the next one, wherever that is.